All right, folks, I'm having some issues with this uh, plate modified one by two with clip on top or with open O clip on top. Um, so I did the part out and I put the list in here um, and it's saying there's 112 each of, or of each. Uh, however, you know, one of these is a counterpart. I know that, so I'm not confused by that part, but, um, I don't know if you can tell the difference from that picture, but we'll go over here. So obviously the O-clip is the bottom one and then just the clip is on the top, right? And then it's got this little edge right over here on the side. Anyway, um, so with that black part, um, it told me that it could be one or the other, which is fine. Um, and then as I was parting it out, I noticed that some of the sets I parted out had the clip on top and some of them had the open O clip on top. I have not counted them out. Um, I've got them right here. So there's a little bit of each of them. Um, however, as I was putting parts away yesterday, I also noticed, so there are um, white clips, or same part, uh, but in white and red. And as I was putting parts away, I noticed that some of the sets had a mixture of the two as well, although they didn't come up as counterparts on this set. So uh, I got looking at my drawers. And as you can see, there are some that, like that one right there, has is just the clip. And then that one's the open C clip or O clip. Clip. Uh, also, the whites. There's the clip on top, and then there's a C clip. So, or O clip, I mean. So, and I've been mixing these unknowingly before, you know, up to this point, and I'm debating whether or not I should actually pull them out and part them out, uh, respectively, or does it even matter? Um, you know, if, if Lego is using them interchangeably, how how stringent are customers to BrickLink in getting one or the other? So I'm just curious what you guys think. Uh, I, I ha as you can see, I haven't parted them out yet, but I think I'm going to get to it eventually. Well, kind of depending on what you guys think. Um, I, I am for keeping them together just because it... It's the same part, doesn't make sense to keep them, to separate them, and I don't, I don't know if there's a, a, a real distinction or a customer's distinction on getting one over the other, so, uh, yeah, I'd like to hear you guys' opinions on it, so let me know. Good morning, everybody. It's 9.30, Sunday, the, shoot, uh, the 26th of September. This is where I stand in the store right now. I got 245,000 new pieces, just under 6,000 used pieces for a total of 251,742 and 7,342 lots. I did get one of those three sets parted out uh, a few days ago. My wife came in and helped me get that parted out. But since that time, well, with that, I down to four of the large bins numbered and then I still have quite a few of the small ones. My sorting cups I've stacked over here for a little bit because I'm in the middle of a new project which I'll get to in just a second but I don't know if I showed this but I've got three columns hung. Still haven't decided how I'm going to number those yet so that's why they're not numbered. That and I still have plenty of small drawers over here. Still down to those last four down there. The lights are off back here, so it's kind of creepy. Anyway, oh, you just got a sneak preview. So, uh, I know I mentioned that I was going to try to get to 250,000 new parts, um, but uh, because of the lack of large drawers and 
whatnot, I think I'm just going to call 245 good, and I am going to get on to the used stuff. So what I've done is I have all these bins lined out here. And so uh, I've already started some sorting. Uh, I've done a couple of batches of, of used uh, sorting thus far. Um, so these are the two by two by bricks. And anyway, I'm using the category system that David West at DNA Bricks is using. Uh, that's what I'm using initially. I, I'll probably alter it a little bit as I get going. Um, but he's got this category list. So category ones are one by bricks. Category two is two by bricks. Uh, three are the large tall bricks, etc., etc. So, So that's what I'm using initially. I may modify it as I go, uh, as I get more of... Uh, into sorting these, these used bricks. Um, some of these categories, like I said, I, I, I started once before and had some sorted out. Um, and then I used my own kind of categories to do that. Uh, basic plates, tiles, bricks, etc. cetera. Um, so I've kind of combined them all. Some of the categories like this one is supposed to be one by tile or one by plates. And I had a bin that had all my one by tiles or all the tiles and one by plates in it. And so I got to go through here and sort this back out. But um, so, yeah, so that one's pretty full. And then I think as I fill, fill a bin, I'm going to I'm just going to put it in a gallon sized bucket and store it in a big bin until I get to the point of actually uploading it in my store. Having to suck. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet specifically or if I'm just going to go until I fill one up. So like category one is all one by bricks and it's pretty full. So I may just take this and empty it and upload it into the store like right away. I haven't decided for sure yet, but, but I have these out and these are, these are going to go in either those bins on the wall, which I still need to number, or they're going to go into these which I'd really like to build a cabinet over here and put those in there before I start putting any bricks in there so I'll probably end up putting them in that first so so yeah that's where I'm at that's, uh, I've got a week before I leave for some military training I don't know if I mentioned that before but I'll be gone for a month and a half again so I'm just going to do as much as I can with the used stuff here until I leave and then I'm probably just going to leave it out here on the table and hope that my wife or kids come out here and do some sorting while I'm gone. Maybe they will. They probably won't, but, um, but I hope they will. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spend the next couple hours just sorting bricks. So nothing or sorting Lego. So nothing too exciting. So I had these little cups of parts sorted from a previous sort. So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and just sort these out and get them in the store um, just to, because they're already sorted, there's no sense in dumping them into one of these bins right here. So I'm going to go ahead and sort those, put them in, um, put them in the store. Uh, what I initially started to do or decided to do was... Uh, take some of these tackle boxes and put some categories on them and these are going to be for the smaller parts the one by ones and one by twos so uh, tile decorated tile one by ones plates round uh, I did a couple already they're over here tile modified one by two grills uh, slope 30s those are, those are the cheese slopes and so um, so yeah and I've got some colors that I don't have in the new parts, such as that dark purple there and the brown there, and then this medium blue here. So, oh, some trans colors there too that I don't have in, in new in my store. So, so I'm gonna get those uploaded uh, here pretty soon. And then the slopes, uh, I had to divide into two bins uh, by color. So I 
divided it at about the medium blue point, I think. Uh, there's medium blue, and then up here in the corner is metallic gold. So I've got all these cheese slopes in here. Sorry for the glare. And so metallic gold is the cutoff point, and then and then I had a lot of the other colors, a lot of trans colors I had. So yellow and red and orange, trans medium blue, trans light blue, trans dark blue. So, so yeah, pretty excited how this is going. Um, we're happy with how this is going. And I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night getting this stuff parted out right here, so. All right, so I'm at a pausing point where I'm gonna upload. I've got 1,571 parts, 83 lots. Um, I did plates round one by one. I did these tiles one by one with groove with the pattern on it. That was the only tile one by one that I had with a pattern on it, so that made for an easy upload. Then I did all these tile one by ones with grooves. And I also did the grills, uh, tile modified one by two grill with groove on the bottom. And then I did these slope 30 degree one by one by two thirds. So all of that, I came away with 1,571 parts, 83 lots worth $65. And then um, so right now I've got 252,626 parts in the store, 7,400 lots. And that upload actually added 69 lots to my store. So, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, I think I'm going to work on another batch here and see how much more I can get done. Good morning, everybody. 10.32 on Sunday, November 28th. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I know it's been a couple months since I posted a video, but I've uh, been busy doing some military training and, and whatnot. So back in the Lego shop, I've been back in for about a week. I've still been busy trying to get caught up and whatnot. But, but yeah, Sunday, uh, I've got a few orders to pick. Pretty cold here this morning negative 20 and it looks like it's only going to get worse the rest of the day up to negative 31 tonight so so yeah it's getting cold outside but uh things here in the shop are working i got my nice toyo heater working uh, it's basically been working non-stop for the last month or so just because it's been so cold but, but yeah, it's keeping it relatively warm in here. Uh, it does get a little chilly in here after, you know, when it's negative 20, negative 30 outside. And here's the state of the shop right now. Uh, but we'll, I'm going to pick these orders and then I'll go through some of the stuff that I've been up to the last week. All right, so this morning I've, I've got three orders to pick. 46 lots, 286 items. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick those. Uh, I've had a pretty successful month so far. Um, I've only been open for, what, 10 days, 11 days. And I've had 27 orders so far, which is uh, above average for me. Uh, so one per day, and that, that's an average over the whole month. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. And... Yeah, so I'm going to get these orders picked. Uh, it wasn't as quite a busy as, uh, of a weekend as some of the others that I've seen. Uh, just I didn't have a Black Friday or a Cyber Monday sale. Um, but you know, the orders kept coming in uh, relatively steady, so it's kept me busy. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so uh, I think one of the last clips I shot before I left for Alabama... Um, which is at the beginning of the video you're watching right now. I had these category bins laid out on the table right here, and I was gonna start working on used uh, 
parts, which I still intend to do, but I got sidetracked. And while I was in Alabama, uh, Black Friday started happening a couple weeks early. So I ended up getting some, some sets that I need to get parted out because I am running out of space for backlog. So I need to get these parted out. So uh, I picked up some of these, the set 752454, the ATST Raider. I had a handful of these already. Um, actually, I had more than I thought I did. And so when I got home, I bought six of these when I was in Alabama uh, from Walmart for like 30 bucks each. And actually, those two top ones right there have three sets each in each box. And then each of the others have one each. So I'm just at six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 of those that I need to part out. Uh, I got, like I said, I got these top three for $30 each, or these six for $30 each, and then the rest of them for $40 each, I think. Um, I got some of these on clearance. Uh, I got four sets of those. There's two boxes there, but I got four sets, and they were actually $35 a piece instead of 45. So I've got those to part out. And then I've got this Hagrid's Hut, uh, set 75947. I got uh, six of those while I was in Alabama and I had four uh, here, or three or four. Uh, I got those for $30 each. And then the last set that I got was this Jurassic World set 75940. I got 10 of those at $30 each. Um, I didn't have any of those before, but I got those. I've already parted those out uh, since I've been home. In addition to those, I got some of these from Target for $20 each. Uh, they had a good part out value, so that's why I got them. However, I'm a little mad at myself because like two weeks after I bought them, they went on sale for like $16, which would have made it even better, but that's fine. Uh, so I got these. And then, um, what else did I get? Uh, I got some other sets too that I've already parted out uh, in the last week. Uh, some, the five pack or four pack of friend sets um, had a helicopter in it and a couple others. And I parted those out. And then I, in my other videos, I had a stack of video figures sitting right here. Uh, I got some on clearance when I was in Alabama for $5 each, so I just decided to part all of those out. And actually here, here are the minifigures. I haven't put those away yet. This is the, the DJ, I think. And then this is a pirate guy. And then this was the ice cream mermaid or whatever it's called. And the alien DJ. And then this llama figure. So those are the five that I parted out. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the minifigures yet. If I'm just going to part them out or if I'm going to put them on eBay or Bricklink as minifigures. Uh, so I need to get to those. Uh, here's some tiles that I haven't put away yet. Those beat, beat bit tiles or bit beat whatever they are so so yeah and then uh i was running out of large drawers as you can see i filled up the last row there uh, from my last video and i have since started over here obviously i haven't numbered the small drawers yet i needed the large drawers so i started numbering those so AT-161, and that'll go down to AT-220, which I've got labeled and they're all sitting right here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all the new stuff. I mean, I've got little things. My wife picked this up at a yard sale or a clearance store or something, or a thrift store. Those are the orders that I packed today, three orders. Ran out of, uh, of the number zero bags that I think they're five by seven or six by eight whatever they are 
um, which is what I'm going to put that in. I've got some in the house. And then those orders there. Um, I've been going through, these are these all have used parts in them, so I've been going through those. Uh, I don't remember if I showed this in the last video or not, but I started putting those in, uh, in these containers here. That one's almost empty. It's got some decorative tiles in it. These are the one by one rounds. So, so yeah, I've done those categories already. I already had some used stuff in in bins or in tackle boxes, but I think I'm gonna kind of convert everything over eventually. So I uh, picked up some Series 21 minifigures on on clearance. Uh, oh yeah, and then I was gonna mention this. So I was getting pretty good. This table was about halfway cleared off and then um and then fred meyer here locally I, I don't know if it was i'm sure it was every fred meyer but um so fred meyer was having a black friday sale where they were selling lego for 20 percent off and then they also had a coupon for 20 percent off all toy items with that day's prices so i got Lego for 20% off and then an additional 20% off. And then the day we went in there, it just happened that it was the third Wednesday or the third Thursday of the month, which is their military appreciation day. So I got an extra 5% off of all that. So, so I picked up these infinity sets, uh, 76192. I got five of those, actually six of those. Um, and then I got this Harry Potter set, the Hogmeade's Village Visit, 76388. I got five of those. And then I got this Eternal set, 76154. I got five of those. And then I got three of these. Seven six one five five in Ersham's Shadow. It's three of those. I got five of these Eternals Aerial Assault. Seven six one four five, and then I got oh, I got one of these Rise of the Domo. Seven six one five six, and then I got four of. This Ninjago set, 71755, Temple of the Endless Sea. So, so yeah, I got, got a pretty good haul out of those. Um, like I said, I, I paid almost half price for all of those. Um, after the 40% or the 20% off, 20% off, 5% off. And then the last haul that I had was this huge stack of Marvel advent calendars 76196 uh, which I got for eight dollars a set and I ended up with 17 of them so so yeah uh, pretty good clearance slash Black Friday slash you know toy sale whatever you want to call it so so yeah did pretty good um, today is the 4th of December at 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock. And I have been delaying parting out any big sets uh, because I am running out of drawer dividers, or I was running out of drawer dividers. And if you're not familiar, these are the drawer dividers that I get. Uh, they're these acrylic, uh, they come made especially for these uh, uh, acromel drawers. And so they come, and you can kind of see it there by my finger. There's, it comes with a blue film on each side, and then you peel the film off. I think uh, Ralph over at Ralph's Bricks, he gets these, but he leaves the film on. Uh, it is a pain in the butt to, to pull the film off, especially if you're doing a lot of these and it's time-consuming. 
Uh, usually I just sit and watch YouTube or whatever while I'm doing this, but, um, but yeah, so those are the type of drawer dividers that I get. And I really like them because they sit in here super snug. And if it's full of parts, you can grab the drawer by the divider if you want to, and it doesn't slide out. Really like it. Um, but these are the drawer dividers that I get. The chin rest paper source dividers for plastic storage hardware cabinet with small drawers. Hacker Mills, pack of 64. Uh, price point is $22 for a pack of 64, which isn't too bad. It's probably the most reasonable price that I've, I've been able to find. I have bought them quite a few times, purchased 10 times, and the last time I purchased them was about a week ago. So, um, so when they arrive, they arrive in a box like this. Uh, so there's 32 in here, pack of 32. Now, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but that says plastic, not acrylic, which these ones that I've been getting are acrylic. So uh, when I opened up or when I grabbed the, the box, I noticed that it's considerably lighter. And to my surprise, this is what I got. Ordered the same exact thing. I even checked the website to make sure uh, or checked Amazon to make sure, but these, these are what arrived. This is not necessarily what I ordered. However, I have gone back to the website and it is now showing pictures of the plastic dividers, which is weird because if you go down to these more pictures, and you look at the box, it says acrylic, not plastic. And then going further down here, it does say right here, durable clear plastic dividers fit securely into the drawers. Dividers are ready to use. There is no protective film on a divider, which is different from the way I bought them before because they always had the protective film on them. And then if you keep scrolling down here, legal disclaimer, remove protective film before use, which, like I said, had the protective film before. This is the same, so this item shows the picture of the plastic ones, but then if you go down here to material, it says acrylic, and then if you keep going to the reviews, the, re the reviews show the acrylic dividers with the blue plastic film on them. So I'm slightly irritated that they swapped out the product without really saying anything um, or making a separate listing altogether. Um, like I said, I, I like the look and I like the, the ability to grab the, um, the sturdiness of them, the tight fit. And so, so I tried these and let's see if I can get this in here one try here. So I get them in there and the, it's a snug fit and I can lift the drawer with it in there. I don't know how well it will stay in there when it's full of parts. Um, but I'm not, I'm not disappointed so much at the fact, you know, of what they are. And, you know, in the beginning I would have bought these no problem. Um, but I think just the, uh, you know, just the, the change up and not notifying or not saying anything or making a completely different listing or whatever, uh, the price point is the same between the ac acrylic and plastic. However, I feel the plastic probably should be a little cheaper. I know a couple of, uh, of YouTubers, uh, Ralph, uh, as I mentioned, at Ralph's Bricks, and the guys at Just a Brick in the Bucket use these, uh, have been using these acrylic dividers. I don't know if they've bought any uh, since the change over, um, but I thought I'd just mention these and uh, 
and they're good. They're a good substitute for the or uh, addition to the molded dividers that are on the back of the Acromills cabinets.